what's going on guys and welcome back to another of my videos and this is I think episode 6 of the who to sign for series and today we're on Chelsea now <laughs> my tone did just drop then because this is probably going to be one of the most deadest who to signs of this series because let's be honest do Chelsea really need anyone they've literally broken the bank they've literally gone to my nearest HSBC and they've literally shut it down 600 million ridiculous what is all this all these players in the 80 overalls sat on the reserves chilling and okay right anyway this is a team this is probably what the best team i've put out we anyway we've got have have up top you could play a bamiang literally whoever anyone um felix uh, as a cam slash center forward you could play Havertz there, you could play... Who else? I don't even know. ZH Mount. Pulisic, you could probably play there as well. Anyone there. Maduike, Mudrick, you play either of them there as well. Midfield, you've got Fernandez, new signing, and Conte. But also you've got Kovacic. You've also got Loftus-Cheat. You've got Gallagher. You've got Zakaria as well. And on the wings... I don't even need to talk about the wings. You've got Madueke, Mudrick. you literally got anyone. As well as Sterling and Mount as well there. Uh, and at the back, you could play Chilwell or Cucurella. Um, Centre-back, you've got Badashiel. Uh, Asby Equator. Uh, Chalabar as well there. As well as Koulibaly and Thiago Silva. And then James at right-back. But you could also probably get away with Asby Equator at right-back. Uh... I swear there was another right back. See, this is the thing. I just lose track of all the players because I've got so many. Oh, maybe not. Nah, there definitely was somewhere. Oh, well. Oh, well. I forgot to mention you got Fafana as well there as centre-back. See, you just forget about all these players because they've literally got a squad of more than 30 now. And in goal, I've gone with Kepa, but you could easily play Mendy as well because he is five overall better. He's better in FIFA, but real life, if you're keeping it realistic, you probably ought to be playing as the equator so there's the team we're going to get into the signing suggestions there i mean i don't really know if you can say realistic signing suggestions anymore because do chelsea need any more players no they literally got the most squad depth out of any premier league team they've got b better squad depth than manchester city and that's saying something but anyway let's go show you these players um and hopefully hopefully you'll agree with me on some of these if they can sign half these, they can literally sign anyone they want, really. I have got six players on this list. Um, I think they're all realistic. The first one is Rafael Leao. Now, there's a bit of question whether he has a real face or not. He doesn't at the moment, as I'm recording this, as you can see. But he did have a couple of weeks ago, and they took it away. So I reckon they're going to add that back. So if you wanted to buy Leao for a Chelsea career man, I'd probably hold off on starting it for another couple of weeks until he does come back into the game but anyway he's 84 overall 23 rated no that's the wrong way around 84 overall 23 rated six foot two he's quite tall for a winger to be fair but what more do you need to say about him look at his pace look at everything he's just a chelsea player you you can see chelsea buying him for the absolute no need and he'd probably sit on the reserves because that's what Chelsea are doing at the moment. They're ruining careers by sitting them on the reserves. But anyway, Rafael Leal, what a player. He's got to cost most of your budget. Uh, well, between 64 and 81, it says here. So probably around 70 mil you'll be able to get him for. Rafael Leal, what a player. Portuguese, there's not more I can say. If they, if they needed more cover on the wings, then he'd be a certain buy. But I don't even think they need cover on the wings at the moment. They don't need cover anywhere, for goodness sakes. But anyway, we'll move on to the second player. So, Borussia Mönchengladbach's Quadio Manu Kone could be an option for centre and central midfield. Chelsea obviously building for the future with all this youth they're bringing in, so why not add an extra youth player uh, in Kone? He's only 21 years old, a French. I mean, I don't think he's an international yet. I don't think he's had a game for France, but if he has, I apologise. Uh, but he's got a real face... And it won't be before it won't be long before he is breaking onto the international stage. He's 77 overall after the first season. He's got to be 80 overall at least. Look at his traits. He's got dives into tackles, flair, technical dribbler, everything you want in the midfield, and most of them are in the green here. 
Uh, a few yellows and oranges, one red, which is free kick accuracy, but everything else is pretty good, and it's everything you want in the midfielder. Uh, he's got good long passing, good short passing, but his dribbling and ball control in particular makes me think he's more suited to a central attacking midfielder role. I don't know. Unpopular opinion, maybe. Six foot one, maybe not. But anyway, Kone could be an option to bring in, definitely. Now, signing Everett Chiesa may be a realistic one. Despite Crystal Palace being a London rival, I could see Eze moving to Chelsea in real life. An English player, still young, 24 years old. He's not hit six foot, but he has hit the high 70s in overall. He's 77 rated. Look at his traits. Flair, long shot taker, outside the foot uh, shot and technical dribbler. So he's definitely an attacking midfielder. You probably don't want to change that position unless you want to play him on the wing like Elise kind of moved over to the wing for Crystal Palace. But Everett Chiesa, I think, could be a brilliant player to bring in. His acceleration sprint speed, I mean, it's not ideal, but you don't really need it for a midfielder to be too pacey. He's got good agility because he's not that tall and everything else is pretty, pretty solid all round, to be honest. Uh, good short passing, good finishing, good dribbling as well. Ball control as well, pretty decent. So I reckon Everett Chiesa could be a decent player. I forgot to tell you how much you'd be able to get Kone for, so let's show you. So Kone you could buy for around 25 million, something like that. Uh, and Eze is a little bit less, between just less than 20 million you'd probably have to pick him up for. So both of them are pretty similar, to be honest. Both play in midfield. Kone probably sits a little bit deeper than Eze, but, but uh, I mean, if you wanted to get either then that'll be satisfactory if you wanted to get both. Then that would definitely not be out of the question the way things have been going for Chelsea recently. Now, probably one of the most realistic players to bring in for a Chelsea career. But I know it's kind of boring, but I've got to mention him. Declan Rice. Who else? I mean, he's going to link up with Mason Mount. He loves him, really. Uh, look at his traits. He's got leadership, long shot, long passer. He'd, come, he'd walk straight into the first team. There's no question about it. 84 overall, 23 years old. Uh, six foot one he's a great holding midfielder and he can play a little bit higher up as well if he wants he's got good long shots I think well you imagine he's got long, good long shots considering how good he is in game he's got good long passing uh, and short passing as well he's just a very nice playmaker you can see him you could just see that he's a very nice playmaker as well stamina he's 90 so he won't be being subbed off halfway through the game because he's too tired that's for sure he's got a good aggression good composure as well though that's what we want to see uh, and decent interceptions as well reactions pretty good he's just a very well rounded player but he's going to cost once again most of your budget i can't imagine you're going to sign all these players because Leao and rice would be over your budget already i think i'll go show you the budget in a minute but he is going to cost up to 60 million potentially his market value at 45 but you'll have to pay a little bit more than that because he is still young. But Declan Rice, definitely an option to bring into the club. Now, I've just gone to check the Chelsea budget and it is 142 million. So Declan Rice and, uh, and Leao, sorry. You'd probably just about be able to get both of them, but you wouldn't have any room for anyone else, I wouldn't have thought. But anyway, Mark Gay is the next player on the list. Another Crystal Palace player. This time it's a centre-back, 22 years old. 78 overall he's he's got the leadership trait he, i think he's crystal palace's captain unless it's I th no i think he is crystal palace's captain mark way at the moment and for a 22 year old that is very nice to have the leadership trait at 22 years old that shows that that's just very nice in it um he's not got the best pace but center back does he really need to be pacey when he's got very nice strength and reactions as you can see there Everything else is very nice. Standing tackle, sliding tackle, defensive awareness in particular is his best stat. Got good heading, long passing, short passing. So he's quite a ball playing centre back. Or you can see him in that role anyway. But Mark Way has come through the ranks at Crystal Palace and he's really shone this season in particular. So I could see Chelsea going out and splashing big on him. But he's only in career mode. He's not going to cost you too much. Between 30 and 40 million, you reckon. 37 is maximum, I reckon you'll have to pay for him if you're clever with your negotiating because his value is only 25 million. Uh, so there's Mark Gwaii, the penultimate player on this list. Now, the final player on the list is Marton Dardai, and I thought I better have someone who's a little bit lower overall on this list, otherwise, it's just going to become a bit boring. So, this one's a little bit out there, Marton Dardai. I could see him coming to Chelsea, to be honest. Maybe in season two or three, you want to bring him in when he's a little bit higher rated, but 71 at the moment, uh, 20 years old, he's still solid. 
I have played with him in career mode before in one of my career modes in France with FC Lorient. And he, he was a good player, actually. To be honest, six foot two. I signed him, I think, in season two or three. And yeah, he, he was up to the high 70 overalls already. Um, if you look at his stats initially, initially he doesn't look like a sprinter to me. He's not got good sprint speed or acceleration, but obviously that could be trained up. He is only 20 years old. If you put a development plan on him, uh, jumping is good, strength is good, interception is good as well, long pass, and obviously the two tackling, standing and sliding. Uh, those types of tackles are good as well, but you're buying for potential, like I've said so often in these series, in these uh, reviews, should I say. Uh, you're buying for potential when you buy low-rated players who are young. He's got good long passing, because you can see he's got the long passer trait. Um... But yeah, four star weak foot, two star skill moves. Why do you need his skill moves? You don't exactly. You might want to get his uh, defensive work rate up, but if you were looking for a left footed centre back for Chelsea, then look no further than Dada. He's not going to cost much at all, literally. No more than five mil you're going to have to pay. No more than five mil, I can't imagine. So, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Only the six players, uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed it nonetheless. But. It is Chelsea after all, so literally you could go out and buy anyone considering what they've been doing in the past couple of weeks. But anyway, hope you, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please go down below, smash the like, smash the subscribe button as well. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, share it with your friends, comment, do all that jazz anyway. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one for Crystal Palace. We've had two Crystal Palace players on here already, Aze and Gwehi. But I'll be giving you some suggestions on who to buy for them next time out.